hello guys welcome back again to just mama's channel yeah so my people it has happened again oh i believe you guys know this a handsome actor frederick Lona and a beautiful wife becky Ovry. if you don't know them sorry to say this you ain't a nigerian so my people i want to seize this opportunity to say a big congratulations to frederick leonard and pecky over as they will be expecting their first child uh -huh. i'm so happy for them guys i'm just so so happy for them you know what that means after the reggae play the blues after the marriage after the enjoyment after the uh, you know their trip to uh, for honeymoon and everything now we're talking about child you know what that means guys children have blessing from god if you don't know please know that today I do tell people you know easy it's not just easy you ask mothers that are put to bed ask mother that has gone through this way they will tell you it's not easy some of them goes and do not come back alive some of them go and um, at the end of the day the child dies on the way but this is not a prayer for our celebrities our prayer is that god should take them through their way and bring them back safely with their children honestly because i'm just so happy when i hear things like this happening to people so i believe some of you do not know what it means to get married to a wealthy man or a man that comes from a wealthy family and yet you do not have a child for that man ha you don't know what it means be like i never tell you now but some of you that have listened to my voice know some of you that have listened to um my videos i've, I've watched my video would definitely know what i'm talking about it seems most of you do not know what happens when most of the marriage in our country today breaks up. You think it's just a normal thing. You hear of infertility, you hear of the I cannot, the husband is not fertile, the wife is not fertile, and they cannot. Pre Come to think of it, when a lady marries and stays in a man's house for, okay, let's say the first one year will go, second year pass, th third year will pass. My dear, as time advances, the family will start being on your neck. If you're the lady and you're the one at fault, honestly, you'll start hearing talks, you'll start hearing rumors, you'll start hearing things that you've not heard before. Even if you like, make it be say you were a virgin when you got married. When once that child is not coming, they no go mind telling you that you had done your nonsense and you had, you know, you had spoiled your womb and you are not claiming to. In fact, you had even faked the virginity. Honestly, oh, because I've known of so many marriages that are now a uh, story of the past because of what there is no child that is to tell you how important um child plays in marriage today do you know the joy there when you are married especially to this world the family is just like i had said and the child is not coming you will hear the mother-in-law saying eh, my son are you sure you are not going to check uh, chief back west family uh the first daughter marry from the first daughter so that they can give us grant now there you go start to hear different different names of families where you never hear since you born so that you will give us our crown child you know we are not growing we're not growing any way younger we're getting also we need to see our grandchildren before we die that is the case so with all mothers that is what that is the pressure that will be coming into your marriage and even if your husband acts like a strong man like a like he doesn't care about what your parents are saying as time goes on and nothing is happening my dear forget it or he will start he will start getting along with the rumors and gist and at some point one day one day when i go get issues and you will hear something like can you shut up because i'm even managing you someone that cannot give me now there you go yes have you not been seeing nigerian movies guys these are clear examples these are clear evidence of what i'm trying to tell you so that is why i tell people that it takes just the grace of god for a marriage without children to stand on. if you see any marriage without a child you know stand and um, be still being strong the bond is still tight my dear now just god grace or so, uh, uh, although there are some people and uh, there are some persons that be like i cannot divorce my wife because of children what happens to um fatherless children home you can go there adopt one and you know bring it but there's nothing as sweet as a child that comes from your womb guy yeah. because if that child that you adopt happens to get you upset one day you you will just say it without knowing when you said it that this is not your child and even i had my own child all this nonsense would have not happened and that is when that child will be like oh really so i'm not this person's real child there's nothing as sweet as having your own child that comes from your own womb that comes from your man honestly before you see marriage that stands without a child not just god grace not just god's doing there's nothing there there's nothing more to that you guys do you, have you guys risen have you just sat down and i'm pick a picture of how happy frederick leonard will really be when he becomes a father knowing fully whether he's going to be a father in few months do you know how happy he is ha it's it's something of joy it's something that brings happiness to both family be it the ladies family or the guys family because nobody will have such a good news in his family or her family and now will not be happy about it no 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 unless that person arrange 
this two having their child you know how loving they have always been you know how you know ah that is why i say follow up my videos follow up follow up guys if you never follow follow do yourself the favor because me i'm always giving you interesting g's and if you don't follow it will pay me because you will not get along with what i'm trying to explain you need to see how these two are just too loving they are just too amazing but before i continue with the gist oh, please 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 let's do the usual exercise click on the bell subscribe like and comment on this video and every one of my video out there and turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first to see my video whenever i drop one if you so deem it interesting to join me please do this exercise i've mentioned so far for those of you that are joining us new we're actually talking about frederick leonard and peggy Ove. a big congratulations to them as we will be expecting baby from them yeah very soon frederick leonard has just given us and hints of you know him soon being a father just these celebrities that have been blessed with kids and marriage full of love and joy we have other celebrities like cheesy alici the only mama that does expensive makeup to go for a hobby <laughs> guys have you seen love you've not seen love please start smelling love in the air see johnson or koji chai i just love this lady especially when she goes for her photo shoots we had lovely family chai the family are just amazing they are so nice they are looking so beautiful you need to see all of them with one particular color of dress ha ah, you know what it means to wear one dress one you know one type of dress everybody ah you're so amazing guys omotela jalade another amazing couple that comes to my mind is that of omotela jalade the beautiful nigerian couple that are blessed with fruits of wounds and a lovely hobby that takes care of her we have the video and trauma my people me and only yanu nap concerning the video and trauma because they are all love they smell everywhere even if you day inside pit your love go smell enter your nose i don't i never hear of the recent one where the video spoiled the wife with dress with clothing what two point something million just for a night show abby you never choke una you they choke me on and why are they tell all these married people say maybe they allow us the single breed because their love just the it won't choke us it won't kill us Daniel and the hobby, Ned Moko. Ah, that one where just they carry the wife. They fly on expensive trip with ah all around the world. Guys, you guys are sensing love. If you're not sensing love, me, I'm sensing love. Yeah. So that is just that about that. Me, I'm not yearning on uh, information when no be legit because even say vibes. I know you guys know this say vibes of the guy. He took to the social media platform a post of congratulations for Frederick and Peggy Overy. He left the caption which says, Thank God I will have a baby soon congratulations due for nollywood stars frederick leonard and peggy over so my people now the matter be that uh, me too don't follow join voice see a big congratulations to frederick and peggy over yeah i join every other celebrity every other personalities out there and say a bigger congratulations to these two stars honestly it's something of joy it's something of joy i believe in the saying that um in the saying that says when you rejoice over one success then success is your portion guys if you're not always happy whenever something good happens uh, happens to another person then just know that you're not going to have such opportunity in your life you know being happy about someone that has just you know um been blessed with the fruits of womb someone that is about to give to uh, put to bed definitely if, if if you're married in the future you will also be blessed with such fruits of womb if you see don't just they they, uh, they say ah and uh, sister Hatim is uh is actually blessed with the fruit of his pregnant so you go there you say that one waiting bless him that one waiting good ah you will just be saying you how do you expect such opportunity to be your portion because you're always looking down you're saying heal about another person's success when you keep pointing five fingers at someone just know that the the, the back end of your fingers point back to yourself and it's also within you bad luck guys so it's high time we start getting along with every other person's success it's high time we stop being jealous about someone being happy imagine frederick leonard and peggy over how happy they are and you will now sit behind and start saying heal things and start getting jealous and start planning evil planning on how to terminate the baby okay as far as say no be you put that thing where they that baby sorry to say it that baby in um her womb in peggy's womb just know that you cannot remove it it is not your job it is not your work to remove it if you cannot create a human being then do not sit down and think of destroying such human being so guys that the legit be not that they do be that to say frederick leonard and peggy over our movie stars are expecting a baby soon so i just want everybody to join her and be happy for this person just just be happy for them so that you can also have your own and I pray that every other celebrity out there, be you a celebrity or just our normal friend, our fellow human being, our fellow, um, you know, citizen in this Nigeria, 
every other personality out there i'm just praying that whatever it is you're asking god to do for you he should do same for you if you're out there looking for a child looking for looking forward to be blessed with the fruit of womb i pray that god should bless you with such that is my prayer for you today for those of you that are listening to my channel that is my prayer for you thank you guys for staying on with me but please do not forget to subscribe like and um, follow up for each and every one of our videos so that you get acquainted with what we are trying to tell you stay tuned for our next video guys